morning everyone. Welcome to First Baptist Church Children's Sunday School Online Program. Let us worship our Lord together. I've got a song, song for you. I've got a song for you. And it goes like this. Son for me and for you. God sent His Son, His one and only Son for you and for me. And because God gave a lot, I can share. Son for you and for me. God sent His Son, His one and only Son for me and for you. And because God gave a lot, I can share what I share what we have got so now before we start our lesson we will pray let us pray heavenly father we thank you for the moment you have given us together online to learn more about you help us lord in understanding in jesus name we pray amen guys have you ever been getting the presents of course, everyone will get a present or a gift. What did you feel? Yes, you will be very happy, right? So, what was the best gift you've ever received? Hmm, maybe when your birthday time or maybe when you are uh, graduated or maybe on Christmas time. But when you get the gift, you will be very happy, right? So, what made the gift special to you? Sometimes when I was small, I always feel special when I got the present or the gift from my parents. Wow, it's so special getting the gift from them, especially when it's Christmas time. So, we will see in the video after this about the feeling what everybody get when they got a Christmas present. The joy of seeing a child open the boxes for the first time is just, it's incredible. There's squeals and screams, and they are so excited to see what's inside their box. Oh my goodness! Every shoebox gift represents the love of God to them. We are so excited. Many of the children receive the shoeboxes for the first time in their life. 
We're here with Operation Christmas Child. The kids are so excited. We had the opportunity to hand out some of the boxes. There's so much joy, so much happiness, and it gives us an opportunity to present the gospel. We pray that these boxes will be used to bring a lot of happiness and joy, but more importantly, the gospel to each heart, to all these little children around the world. What a great gift. I get a present, I get to know who Jesus is, but not only that, I get to be discipled in His ways. Hundreds of thousands of volunteers work with Operation Christmas Child every year, preparing these boxes, praying for the boxes, that God will use them in a mighty way for His glory. This little shoe box has the opportunity to change the world. Not only are they gonna get a shoe box, they're gonna get the love and the message of Jesus Christ. Some go by helicopter, some go by ship, some go by camel, donkeys, canoes. We go at great lengths to take these boxes to children in the most remote parts of the world. And it's an incredible journey. After these children open the box, they have the opportunity to go through the greatest journey, the 12 lesson discipleship program, where they get to learn more about Jesus Christ. Right now, I'm right outside of Mazlan, Mexico, about six hour drive up in the mountains. This is an indigenous people group, people that never heard the gospel before. The kids and the families that accepted Christ, almost a hundred all together, have now started a church. This shoe box gives us an opportunity to continue to shine the bright light of the gospel in the darkest and remote places around the world. We're seeing families come to know Jesus. Churches are sprouting up in these communities. These children are rising up to be disciples in their own country. The gift box and the gospel of Jesus Christ bring hope to our children to bring the smiles back on their faces. No greater need and no greater time than right now for us to go out and serve boldly. This is what these shoe boxes are all about, to go out in the bring of hope of Jesus Christ around the world. I'm just so amazed at what God does each and every year. This is an opportunity to impact the lives of millions of children, just like you've seen. But we need more boxes for next year. Every box is an opportunity for us to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. So thank you, and God bless each and every one. Wow, it's so fabulous and it's so amazing when children give a present to another children. Can you imagine in the video it state that you get a present from another children a part of other world. Wow, it's so amazing. Can you imagine that the gift can help people throughout the world and they can just feel happy and they can just feel the love of Christ. Today, we are going to learn more about sharing and about giving as Jesus taught us to share to others, especially to share His love to others. So today, we are going to learn about sharing and giving from one boy in John 6 verse 1 to 14. This boy can share the gift to 5,000 people through the miracles that Jesus made. Jesus feeds the 5,000. This week, we look at the story of when Jesus feeds the 5,000 with just the lunch of a young boy. Our lesson is found in John chapter 6 verses 1 to 13. Jesus healed many people around the Sea of Galilee and spoke wonderful words about God's kingdom. He was becoming famous and thousands of people followed him hoping to be healed 
hoping to see a miracle and hoping to hear his wonderful words of light and hope in a dark world. A boy heard about Jesus and was so excited to see and hear him. He wanted to go along with the crowd and see Jesus for himself. He asked his mother and she said yes, if you're quiet and listen carefully to what the teacher says. But first, I will pack some food for you if you get hungry. Jesus went up a mountain and sat down with his disciples. The Sea of Galilee was in the distance and around them was a huge crowd. There was 5,000 men and that didn't include the ch women or children. They were all over the hillside, but they could still hear Jesus. Everyone wondered what Jesus would do next. As the crowds were so large, everyone struggled to get a good view of Jesus. With this in mind, the boy may have climbed up a tree to see what was going on. Maybe one of Jesus' disciples, Andrew, helped him, because Andrew later knew just where to find the boy. Jesus spoke all afternoon and it was beginning to get late in the day. The boy was getting hungry and he wasn't the only one. Many people were getting hungry. The young lad had brought food, but those in the crowd had not. Jesus asked one of his disciples, Philip, where they could buy bread for all these hungry people. Because Philip lived in that area and he would know where to buy food. Philip answered and said it was impossible to get food anywhere near enough to feed so many people. Another disciple, Andrew, heard the question Jesus asked Philip. He told Jesus that he knew a lad who had a lunch of five barley loaves and two fish. But how could that be helpful? Jesus asked Philip to bring the food and the disciples were told to get everyone sitting down. Andrew went and asked the boy for his food. I am sure that Andrew would have offered to buy it from the boy but I think that he was willing to give it to him because Jesus asked for it. When Jesus got the food from the boy, the first thing he did was to tear a piece off and pray, giving thanks to God for it. Then the disciples passed it all around the people and they ate all they wanted until they were full. All those thousands ate until they could eat no more. Then Jesus told them, Gather up the leftover fragments so that nothing will be lost. The disciples collected twelve baskets full with the leftover fragments. What a miracle! God provided food for everyone. Jesus used a willing boy's gift to bless thousands. The Passover, a celebration of God's provisions, was near. The Passover also reminds people that God provided food for them in the wilderness too. God had shown his power to provide for these people too and used the lunch of a young boy to do it. Amazing. You can see that Jesus loved the people. So when Jesus think that the people they are really hungry, so Jesus provide them food only from a lunch box from one boy. So what can we do in our life? 
Do you want to share what you have with others? Jesus teach us how to share. Through the story of one boy, we can learn how to share what we have to others. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your message today that remind us how to share with others. Help us, Lord, in sharing your word to other people surrounding ourselves. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We surrender our life into your hand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys. Thank you for joining our Sunday school class today. See you next week. God bless you.